So we're going to jump into section three, which is dome cameras versus turret cameras. And kind of want to open the conversation back up to the panel here, but how do dome and turret cameras compare and why would you want to use one versus the other maybe? Um, we've kind of started to talk about some of this stuff, so I'll, I'll let you all pick it right back up. Yeah, maybe we should start with like what even a turret camera is for somebody who's not aware. Um, a turret camera has kind of the same form factor as a as a dome camera in terms of, you know, they're kind of a ball and, and they fit on kind of a similar mounting mechanisms and stuff like that. But the difference is the turret cameras don't actually have a, a clear dome in front of them. Um, and so there's advantages to that and there's disadvantages to that. Um, you know, I think when you're talking about the lack of IK-10 and the lack of vandal resistance that you don't get with the turret camera, that's kind of a downside to them. Um, the upside is typically don't, um, turret cameras are, um, they're a little less maintenance and they're a little less, um, you have to be, you don't have to be quite as considerate about them when you are installing them as well. A little less factors there. You don't have the IR, the infrared light for night vision going through the glass dome. It just goes straight from the the dome. So there's a little less upkeep potentially with them as well, which we can talk about, but um, very similar models. Um, in fact, like even on our own website, you know, we have a section that's called dome cameras and the turret cameras fit under there too. So even though, you know, technically they don't have the necessarily dome part, most people do consider um, turret cameras to be dome cameras. It's a little confusing, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's kind of a nutshell on it, I suppose. Turret cameras are basically just the dome with, with without the glass part. Yeah, you know, the, the same yeah. way that you would adjust and move the lens around for a dome camera is exactly what you're doing with a turret camera. Uh, mm -hmm. It just doesn't have the glass around it. Mm -hmm. um, let me bring up a couple things like that I would say for advice. If you are do DIYing this and you're uh, going to put it up on your small business or your home and you're the one installing it, use a turret. It's a, a way better plan for, it's so much more forgiving. So what I mean by that is uh, inside the glass dome, you have air. So when you open that up, uh, you're going to have air that gets inside of there. If you're doing this on a really humid day, you're going to trap moisture inside of it. This is going to bounce, the IR is going to hit that moisture and it's going to bounce back into the camera. When you're taking that dome off, you're putting your finger fingerprints and you're getting your fingerprint oil the outside of it, probably on the inside too, because you probably touched the inside of it by accident. You don't really need to, but almost everybody does. And that's going to do the same thing. The IR is going to hit that. It's going to bounce right back into the lens. And, you know, it's going to produce this really foggy, terrible looking photo that we'll give you a, an image of right here. Um, it, it just, it's very easy to sort of mess this up. On the flip side, if you're working with a professional installer and you're um, dealing with something like a college campus, you're probably not DIYing this. There's some probably somebody who's experienced that that sort of professional uh, is generally going to do a good enough job that the downsides of a dome um, are not going to have to be a big consideration. And the upsides of that IK-10 protection and that inability to sort of have somebody change the direction of the camera uh, are going to are going to be felt a little bit better. Definitely. Yeah, there's definitely, that's a really good synopsis. I, I think it would be uh, fair to unpack a lot more uh, of some of the things that you mentioned here in the next section and, and considerations. Um, but specifically to your point, like about like installation, what Matt was referring to in terms of like why you want to consider, you know, the humidity or potentially the environment you're installing the camera into is because you physically have to remove that dome cover from the camera housing to install the camera, right? Whereas in a turret, you wouldn't have to do that. Um, but I think I would love to have James recap here, like the aesthetics aspect too. And Michael and Matt, yeah. you can obviously jump in, but that's really one of the biggest things we want to think about when we look at dome cameras versus turrets and the utility of the camera. Like where is it physically being mounted in terms of aesthetics as well? Yeah, I think it does depend on the industry. Like you look, go to your local grocery store and you'll be able to see, um, you're going to see probably more dome cameras because they're sort of, they've sort of blend in a little bit more. They're a little bit more normal in that area. Um, where some other industries like car washes, for example, they don't want the dome cameras in there because they're more likely to have issues with somebody. You know, if you get blasted with a hose or something like that, you know, you don't want to do that to a dome camera. Rather, whereas a turret camera can kind of handle that a little bit better. So, you know, industry-wise, it's going to depend on your application. And I'm sure, you know, if you talk to us and start going over the 
the pros and cons of each model, then we can help you more specifically as well. Right. And I'd also, I mean, I really appreciate that highlight, James. I also want to say that there's no right or wrong answer and yeah. it doesn't have to be mutually exclusive, right? If you choose to put a dome camera, like a traditional style bubble dome camera in your lobby or main entrance, because it's accessible, but in the back warehouse, you have turret cameras, you know, that's okay too, right? It, it can be this a la carte solution for what's best for you. Thank you so much for watching this in the trenches roundtable clip. If you're interested in learning more, be sure to check out that full video and the link in the description below or reach out to us at getscw.com. Looking forward to helping.